How do I want to start this video? Just like that, welcome to the 2020 Gamer. <laughs> Hello Internet, welcome back to Faster Than Light. And last time, we made the decision... Jeez, jeez, just jump right into it, why don't... Oh, shoot! Oh, we are on the exit. Next sector! We made the decision, because we're having a fun time, to go to the Uncharted Nebula. Oh, this is gonna be good. The Nebula must have been an important hub at one point. Pace placing all these jump beacons would be no easy task. However, now it's hardly navigable, so... That's good. In honor of Waldo, of course, I have worn my Waldo hat. Worn my Waldo hat today, so, you know, knitted by my lovely sister, so. I will, uh, I was Waldo for Halloween, and that was a fun time. And, by the way, Waldo is the best costume to wear for Halloween, because if you wear Waldo, then people will want to get pictures with you, and you feel really popular, because everybody recognizes Waldo. So, I just be, would just be like walking down the street and everybody would be like, I found you! And, oh, it was great. It was such a fun time. So, if you've never, if you've never dressed up as Waldo ever before in your life, it is a bucket list item, I swear. You find the Mantis encampment, but there are far too many of them to count accurately. You send a long-range message back to the settlement with your findings, but unfortunately, there's not much you can do. It would be suicide to attack directly. Uh, yeah, I'll use a miss missile to do this thing. Oh, crap. You fired their fuel depot, but a shot from the surface rips the missiles to shreds. They must have planetary defense systems set up already. Try to get away, but a nearby patrol ship moves into an attack. All right. And again, we are not pausing, so, uh, first laser their shields, Artemis their weapons. Turn off auto fire. Everybody's in their positions and all healed up and good to go. Okay, not good, but see, we have a dude on there now. See, Waldo 2 is already on our doors. Uh, burst laser their weapons. Let's see if we can save some. Oh, shoot. Let's see if we can save some. Tight. Nice. With the patrol ship destroyed, you hasten to leave, but it won't be long before the other ships catch up. Alright. Did we, like, get something from that? Is there supposed to be, like, an end result to this, or am I just silly? Whatever. Okay. Um, I guess maybe further on the line we'll get an option. Dude, we lucked out. There's like an entire way to like not go through the nebula, but I'm not gonna get as many like I could always go here and then here and then kind of like dork around up here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. If we can avoid the nebula, we're gonna do it because the nebula sucks. Remember, remember uh, that was a quote from last video. Ha, <laughs> nebula suck jokes. All right, mercenary hails you. Greetings, friend. We have heard your quest and offer valuable services. Delay the river. The, the way the rebels scout the sector. That would actually be really tight. We are going to do that. Um, so now we know where ships are and where the store is. We know that there's a distressed bacon right there. Interesting. Okay, so there is a rebel fleet here. We have potential encounters here, which are actually good things, believe it or not. We want encounters. So what I'm thinking we do is... Ah, oh man, I wish we could make the jump right there. We can't. Um, I think we're what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. I kind of want to just fight these ships, but oh, I can't get over through there, so there's no point. So I think we'll, what we'll do here, Distress Beacon, and then up and over. Yeah, that is the plan. That is the game plan. The game plan has been set. We're going to we're gonna do the game plan. Hey, we got a stuff. Debris from Forgotten Battle still orbits the gas station. Gas giant, not a station. In this system, some of it might still be usable. Awesome. Free stuff. Well, glad we got that. That already, just scouting the area already paid for itself. Um, so we should probably upgrade some shiz. Let's get our, uh, at some point I want, shields are important. So let's just flat out, just upgrade those now. Boop. And now we have our second level shields, which will help us immensely. Let's start working our way up. Because if I go to the distress and then straight up, um... So should we get? So we'll go to the chest first. Hello, Nacho. How are you today? Hmm. You arrive at the distressed bacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crossed between the two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Hmm. Try to dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks, destroying the ship. They're just pirates. Dislodge it. Ow. You take a few careful shots, but expose mineral patches of the rocks that are violent. Reacts violently with your weapon. Shockwave forces you back as debris. I'll well, hit against your hole. When you regain control, you find there's not much left of the ship. Balls. All right. 17 scrap, but two damage to my hole. Um, that's probably what it'll cost to fix it. So, whatever. Uh, well, you will just be slightly damaged. And actually, uh, this top section is where you want your health to be at, anyways. If you're playing the game right. So, 
Not that big of a deal. And poor Waldo 2 is still trying to fix the doors. A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula as a bacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. Attempt to follow them. Hey, Philip! <laughs> you get lucky and find them floating not too deep in the nebula. Thrilled to be found by friendlies. They come to board, they abandon board and abandon their wrecked ship. Tight. So we have Philip and Philip. Um Sure, I, I don't think that'll be confusing at all. Uh so you will be in the other central location of this. Actually, no. What we could do is have you there and you there. How this will work is so these guys have an equal traveling speed to get anywhere. Or maybe we should have them on shields and like weapons. Yeah, that works. So they're in a really centralized location. So if anything happens, then they will be able to uh, help out. I hope not just purring isn't being picked up in the mic. If it is, it's a happy sound, so you should be okay. Well, let's go to this unvisited location. Sweet. And Waldo has a little bit of damage, but he'll be fine, I say, as he probably will die. And then we'll have to have a Waldo 3. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from bacons. Attack them! Come on, scrubs. Uh, we will just fire at their weapons, I guess. The enemy ship almost into always fires before you, so. Oh, shoot, they have a whole laser. Tight. Okay. Uh, let's just Artemis their. Shoot, they have a teleporting bomb. Uh, you know what? Just to avoid taking the damage, because they just, I heard it. They teleported a bomb onto our ship. If we accept this offer, it won't do damage. Shoot, it did damage. Or it just froze it. Eh. Wait. Oh, I thought that was a bomb. Dang it, I could have killed them. Dang it. Murder was the better option in this situation. Much like every situation. Don't actually murder people. All right, store. Let's go ahead and get our ship filled and get some more fuel because we're running a little low. There is some trade for sale here. We have our fuel, which we should probably just... Actually, first, let's fix up to green. Just fix one. Let us get two fuel, I guess. Lissandra, hey, League of Legends champion. Although Lissandra's not a, well, not a, not a, not a slug. All right, so they have no weapons for us. I don't think. Nope. Bye. Uh, yeah, there's no page two. So uh, we could get clone bay is fun. It's not what I want. There's a strategy that you can do, and it's like teleporting. Basically, you get a teleporting bay and a uh, clone bay, and you teleport your crew onto the ship. Have them just wreck it and then teleport them back and then do like one damage to the ship and they blow up. You can kill everyone on their crew and get more benefits because you didn't destroy the ship so you get more scrap rewards. So it's like this high risk, high reward. But again, high risk. We're playing super safe right now. We're playing on easy, but we're not using the pause button and pause button is crucial for controlling your ship on there. So we will get a couple missiles. We'll buy all their missiles, I guess. Um, Yeah, they don't really have anything that we need. Uh... Uh, yeah, no, we don't need that either. We should be good. We should be good. And then our ship, uh, pretty much, we're gonna be trying to get. So we'll need 80, we'll need 140 scrap to upgrade our ships again. So that's good. We're just kind of kicking it with the original weapons. Yeah, so we'll go to this one. Yeah. I want, I want cooler weapons, but we haven't found any yet. And again, this is only the second sector, so whatever. You cross paths with an advance of the rebel fleet. Advance and advance, advance. Take two. You cross paths with an advance scout of the rebel fleet, searching with this sector of the nebula of your. Oh god, screw it. Continue to shoot them. <laughs> First laser on their weapons. Artemis, their drones. Actually, I don't think they can do damage to us. I'm gonna sit here and pet my cat. Hello. Hi. Hi, yeah. Do you miss Waldo? I miss Waldo. He was a good he was a good crew member. He was a very good crew member, but uh unfortunately. He's gone now. He's he's probably dead, but we're still gonna search for him. Maybe someday. Yeah, they, they literally just can't do anything to us. <laughs> Get wrecked. Alright. What do you have for me? Two fuel, a uh, scout, whatever, drone part. I never use drones. I've used them. I used them like once, but then I realized how quickly you run out of drone parts. So 
if you have the scrap to get it and you have really good drones parts, then I guess. But there's actually a ship that relies entirely on drones, which is really cool. Jump. Uh, let's go to this one. Remember, we are trying to hit as many ships as possible to get as much scrap as possible. Mantis ship jumping through the stuffs. It's doing that. It's coming in to attack us. Kill it. Uh, it has one shield. Let us shoot it with lasers. Um, and then Artemis. It's oh, it doesn't. Have, where's its weapons? Oh wait, I'm already attacking him. I'm like, stop it. Ah, vibration of phones. Uh, yeah, we're we're pretty much fine. I I honestly could just sit here and farm experience for my captain and my uh, engines guy, so for Stephen and Philip, but I don't really need to. So yeah. Yeah, epic music, come back. <laughs> I was busy. There it is. There is nothing going on. Yeah. Oh, their weapons are back online. Shoot. Oh, ahem. I turned off auto fire. <laughs> I was like, why aren't they dying? Yeah, we should just do this just to be safe. Well, I tried. <laughs> Can't do much more than that. Okay, come come on. Come on. Just sitting here. <laughs> like, nobody's shooting at each other. <laughs> uh, yep. Leaving a substantial amount of scrap material. Sweet. Uh, we are on our on route for getting uh, our third tier shields. And then we will upgrade, I guess, our engines. Actually, no, we're doing fine. Shields kind of trumps engines, I think. We will go here. All right. Uh, two ships, one chasing the other. Uh, scanner show, pursuer is a pirate. Ate it. Continue. First laser. They'll probably, uh, with these, I think it's a time-based thing. Like, if you can beat them fast enough, then you get better rewards, because the civilian ship wouldn't have gone away. So, if you do it as fast as possible. Yeah. Oh, they died. Well. Rest in peace, I guess. I don't know. You take what you can can from the yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> it's like it's like when you kill someone in an RPG just because they have like cool looking armor. <laughs> it seems like the crew did not survive the assault. You take what you can from the reins of the ship. So we got some three fuel, some good scrap. Are we able to do the? Yes, we can. We are at third tier level. Third tier shields. Boop. All right, jump. And we have time to go to. Uh, well, we'll just hit as many as we can. Right now, uh, we are in the safe zone of one jump away from the exit, so. Nothing here. We already had been to this one. Uh, yeah, about to gain control of this beacon, bacon, whatever. Advance rebel ship. Uh, yeah, so we're not going to get anything from this, so we just need to leave. Oh, and we're in an ion storm, so uh, every once in a while, like the solar flares, there'll be a flare-up of energy, and this one will stun something. I think it's shields. Oh crap, they have a flat cannon. Um, That's not good. Uh, let's just try to stall it. Shoot, we are sitting ducks. All right. Um, just first laser their, their weapons as best as we can. Because, yeah, there we go. The longer I can keep their weapons down, the better. Uh, nice. Okay. Yeah, we should be fine. Uh, let us take off the Artemis. Save missiles. Um, attacking that, we should be good. Everybody return to your save positions. We should be fine now. Um, oh, yeah. You never got your updated save position. Save you. All right, we should be okay to leave. Actually, we might as well just kill them, see if we get anything. I doubt we will, but uh, we've been, oh shoot. We've been, uh, we, we did really well that fight, so. Yeah, we just go and fuel, whatever. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. That sucks. Uh, Hidden in the nebula, we can jump to that sector. All right. This is where I will leave you guys. We have a choice between the pirate controlled or the mantis controlled. 
It is up to you to decide my fate, so go ahead and vote in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye, everyone. <laughs> he's, like, not happy right now. Ah, uh, no, he's praying. <laughs>